Hey, it's Nicole, and I'm on this amazing series, How to Build That Huge, Big Energy Inside of You That Is Going to Get You What You Want in Your Relationship. So today, I would like to talk to you about language. Now, language is a huge topic when it comes for women, because we mostly use language to connect. Because we are such powerful creatures and such powerful beings, we use, we have, we have the command of language that is actually interwoven in our brain. It's wired in the female brain to be more verbally adept than men are. And because we have such power, many times a woman that has no clue about how to manage her power, it works for her detriment. I know what I'm talking about. I used to be a motor mouth. I mean, I'm still a motor mouth, <laughs> but mostly in a good way now. But I used to allow for my language to actually ruin my interactions with men. Ruin. I mean, absolutely demolish my interactions with men. If you can master your language, you will have him eaten out of your hands. You will literally have your guy eaten out of your hands. And what I mean by mashing your language is not tiptoeing around him, not speaking your mind because, you know, you are afraid that if you say something that he's going to respond a certain way. It's not withholding your true feelings. Mashing your language is communicating in a way, in an authentic way, where the person is actually heard or the communication itself is actually effective. Now, you will know that a communication, when you communicate with a guy, it's affected by how he responds to you, by how he's responding. If he's not res being responsive with the way you communicate with him, it tells you that you need to have a greater command over your language. Now, when you have a really great command over your language, you have influence. And when you have influence, you have power. So... Some women just think that they should just blur anything out that comes out of their mind. They just just say anything that comes out of their, their, their mouth, like their mind. Just say anything out of their mouth. Just, just say whatever they think or what, however they're feeling. Like I even tell women that one of my video posts is that one of the things that you should not say to a man first is, I love you. If you've been in a relationship with this guy, you've been dating him, for a few months and he has not indicated where the relationship is going or he has not indicated how he feels about you, you need to be able to manage your language. And the way you manage your language is by managing your emotions. So language is a powerful thing that you can use to actually skyrocket how and what is going on in your relationship. When you're angry, you can use language to diffuse the situation. When you're angry, you can use language to speak to him in a way that is very direct, but very balanced. Most women, when they're angry, they actually fly off the handle and they just say whatever comes to their mind. It just, and it's, it's actually, it takes practice when you are angry to manage your language. It takes real self-awareness when you're angry to manage your language. I know how difficult that is. Because if you're not self-aware and if you haven't practiced it, if you don't have that sense of yourself, if you're not aware in that moment, more than likely, you're just going to blurt anything that comes out of your mouth. And when you do, then actually he sees, you kind of put it out there, what's in your hand. But most women don't understand that if they're interacting with a guy and He's saying something and they just remain silent, even for 30 seconds. Then the guy has to wonder. I wonder what she's thinking. I wonder what's going on. You haven't revealed your hand to him. So silence is even a huge part of mastering your language, of learning how to communicate. Because when you are silent, it can communicate to a man a lot of things. A lot of people are not comfortable with silence. So if you are in a, uh, a space or are, are having this interaction with your guy and you take maybe five seconds to respond to him by being silent, 
Like now, you're probably thinking, well, what is she going to say next, right? Exactly. So this is the power of silence. Language and silence go hand in hand. It's the same thing. So mastering your language has a lot to do with being self-aware, a lot to do with being in control of your emotions. Because many times at the end of your behavior are thoughts and, and words that are being formed in your mind. Thoughts and words are language that are being formed in your mind that is creating the kind of behavior that you're having in your relationship that is actually making him pull away from you. So the language that you speak the things that you say when you're interacting, when you're out on a date with him, when you're kind of interacting with him, when you're talking to him, when you are having sex with him, you can use language even when you're having sex to actually make him to trigger a deep emotional connection with him, but it's just the way you say it. It's the things that you learn how to say. It's the things that you, you, you it's a, the language that you practice within you by the thoughts that you continually focus on inside of you that's going to create those results. So for example, if you are wanting to know, you know, how do I flirt with him? One of the things that I tell women, one of the, the line that you can use to flirt with a guy if you're new, using your language, is by saying something like, boy oh boy, don't you have that, don't you have a bad boy inside of you? Boy oh boy, don't you have that some bad boy under your skin. I'm just kind of throwing these off on the top of my head because I actually don't remember the actual um, thing that I wrote about a few weeks ago. But I think it goes like, boy, oh boy, don't you have some bad boy under your skin? But you practice that, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, don't you have some bad boy under that skin? Boy, oh boy, don't you have some bad boy under that skin? So language is kind of conveyed in so many different tones. You can do it through email. You can do it through text messaging. You can do it through instant messenger. You can do it through eye contact. You can actually do it, excuse me, through the actual words that you speak. Or you can do it through your actual body language. But what's most important is that you learn how to manage your language. You learn how to actually gauge how you are responding and not by how he's responding to you. And if you learn how to master your language, if you learn how to communicate in a way where you can say something to him, if he makes you angry, you can say, you know what, I'm really angry right now. I don't want to talk about it. And when I have had a chance to think it over, then maybe we can talk about it. Walk away. That will make a man think like you are a goddess because the big thing that a lot of women are confronted with is in that space of conflict they don't know how to manage their emotions a conflict could mean that it's him not responding the way you want maybe he has interjected some sort of challenge by not getting in contact with you by not responding to your text messaging by not showing you the attention that you think you want by not, uh, you know, asking you up for the second or third date, by not um, getting back to you in time. Maybe he's interjected that kind of conflict in the relationship, or maybe you're actually in a verbal conflict with him. But the way you respond to that will actually make or break how he sees you. You're actually building up a verbal bank account. You have to be aware that that's what you're doing. You're building up a verbal bank account. And in order to be someone who master your language, you have to actually think about the things that you say. You ha have to practice in your mind. When I get into this situation next time, here is how I want to respond. When he does A, B, C, I want to I want to respond X Y Z. You actually have to write it out. You have to practice that that thing until it becomes something that's natural inside of you. You have to practice it until it becomes something that is embedded inside the walls of your being. Practice that 
language mastery before you get into the situation. Because if you don't practice it, if you don't think ahead, how are you going to respond? Then it's not something that is actually being cultivated or interwoven inside of you. It's not something that's going to feel that it's like it's a part of you. And then when you get in the situation, you're going to lose control. That's not what you want to do. You want to manage yourself. You want to manage your language. You want to manage your space and have mastery over your own space first. So when you get into the situation, you aren't being a reactor. You aren't being, being on the defensive. You aren't left like with your mouth open. But the more you practice it, and the more you actually prepare yourself um, beforehand, the more you will find that you have the actual tools that you need to respond with your language. Now, let's continue talking about language because it's such a big topic. And most of the way that you will build actual, you will actually build a man's emotional, um, I would say emotional bank account, you'll build the emotional bank account between the both of you is by him perceiving you a certain way by how you speak. It's by perceive, him perceiving you a certain way by your body language or by your language. So if you want to build up that kind of your bank account in his mind, you have to learn certain strategies about language. Now, guys are action-oriented beings. They respond usually with doing things. When a man wants something, he, he usually do it. More than likely, he'll do it 90% of the time and he'll say it 10% of the time. But when you want something, it's the other way around. You will actually say it 90% of the time and you actually will do it 10% of the time. So you have to switch that around. If you want to speak his language, you have to kind of do what he's doing. And you can communicate to him by using language in the way he understands and not necessarily the way you're used to using it with your girlfriends. By building up that emotional bank account, that language verbal bank account between the both of you, you will kind of help him to see you in a certain way. And sometimes women, we want it to happen overnight. We just want him to instantly be attracted or instantly fall in love or get that instant commitment or get the ring on our fingers in an instant way. But many times, it's just slowly little things that you do over time that he's paying attention to that is filing itself away in his subconscious mind based on your language and the way you're responding that's building up that big verbal bank account. Like, when a woman is not able to manage her language, a man just sees that it's an out-of-control train. He actually sees a train wreck with a woman who's not able to manage her language. When you fly off the handle, when you get super emotional over small little things, or you start to blame him uh, by flying words just in every single direction um, over just things that he's doing and you just get so uptight and you just like get frustrated and you have to dump on him verbally, it's just not a good thing because he just sees that as why isn't she able to manage herself? So if you're able to manage your language, your man will see you as a person who's able to manage yourself. And you want to learn how to manage your language because the more you do, like I said, it helps you to build that verbal bank account between the both of you. Now, let's talk about just interacting with a man in a way where he totally understands when it comes to language. Now, in one of my one of the videos, I talk about playfulness. And when you want to get a man's attention, the fastest way to get his attention is by using playful language. By using language that has the elements of play in it. Something like, hey there, you sexy dork, will get his attention faster than, so how are you doing? You see the difference? Hey there, you sexy dork, will get his attention. Like, it's just like, it's funny, it's playful. It's like, huh, she's calling me a dork? She's easygoing, she's playful, she's cool. If she can 
be so secure to call me a dork. She must be really cool. I must want to hang out with her. So the next time you're going to respond to a text message or respond to him, or if you see him and, you know, he comes over and you open the door, hey there, you sexy dork. <laughs> Just say, hey there, you sexy dork. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Like, interact with him using your language to build that verbal bank account through play and spend most of your time doing that, at least 50% of your time using your language with the element of play because the more you infuse play into your language, the more you will be seen as attractive, as in control, as cool, as sexy, as laid back, have, have that inner coolness about you, you know, you're a fly girl <laughs> type thing, right? You know, you're, you're kind of the bomb type thing. You're sexy. You're drop dead gorgeous. Like you, you know, a man finds a woman who can banter and who can play and who's witty. He just finds that totally drop dead gorgeous. So I would encourage you to learn how to master your language in a way where it works for you, in a way where if he throws something at you, like if he says, well, um, if he starts to say something like um, he's giving his opinion on something, like maybe he doesn't like what you're wearing, or maybe he didn't think that, you know, something was called for that you said, or maybe he just thought something, he was just giving his opinion. Um, in a way, you can respond to him in a way where you use your language that tells him, that you're not affected by what he says. You can say something like, well, thanks, but um, you know, the complaint department is closed for the day. And smile, you know, just say to him, okay, all right. Maybe you think that, but I just feel differently. And just drop it. So a big part of mastering your language is playfulness and the way you communicate when you are with your intention, the way you communicate your needs, the way you frame your words, the way you uh, interact with him, interact with him through um, when you're upset or when you're really angry, when you want something. There's just ways that you just go about asking or, or um, speaking that's going to get his attention faster than if you were to just fly anything off the handle, you know. So I hope that has been helpful. Remember to banter her because that is going to create the actual magnetic energy between you. The more time you spend, if you want to turn your, your relationship around tonight, just interact with your man in a way where you're, you're kind of semi-sarcastic, use your sense of humor and banter. And I bet you it's going to make him sit up and pay attention. Because that's the language that guys usually understand. The language of action. When you banter, it's an action oriented kind of laid back, infused energy type, you know, exchange versus, Han, can we talk? You see what I mean? Like, who wants to sit down and talk forever? Like, you know, but thank you for listening to me talking. I really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.